South Africa. So we are we are we try we are trying to understand what a resistor is and the effect of resistor in the circuit. So if you check the board, there's a resistor here. So the resistor will prevent the load from turning on. But we are trying to not allow our multimeter to deceive us. So because of that, we connect our multimeter to this side to measure voltage while the load is off. So see if we are if we apply the load, see what happens. If we apply the load to the multimeter, see the voltage troubled will quickly go down. So if you can see, because there is resistance in the circuit, the 12 volt quickly goes down. But at the moment I start reducing the resistance, you can see that the bulb will start turning on. Do you get it? When I take out all the resistance, you can see that you are measuring my But at the moment I start applying resistance into the circuit, the bulb goes off, our voltage goes to zero. And if you disconnect it, you go, you get back to your 12 volt because you are measuring it to download. Do you get it? So uh, current is the flow and resistance is the preventer. So the resistance will not allow the current to flow for your load to turn on. But if you are using a LED light, LED doesn't need enough current to turn on. It needs some little current. So if you touch it, you can see the LED light turns on, right? That tells me that and it changes our voltage to 5 volts when our LED light turns on. So that tells me that the LED light doesn't need enough current to turn on. But this one needs more than 100 milliamps to turn on and to shut it to zero volts because there's resistance in the same. So you can't <laughs> check a complete circuit without a loop. So a resistance can prevent the circuit from working. So if you can check, when I connect this test light here and I connect it direct, it turns on, right? But when I hit it here, it takes all the voltage out and it goes to zero voltage and the test light doesn't turn on. Because, <coughs> because there is resistance in the circuit. Did you get it? Yes. So when I remove the resistance from the circuit, the test light will happily turn on. Do you get it? <coughs> because now resistance is not preventing current flow. And this amount of current can turn on this test light. So, <coughs> sorry. So if you check, when I use this light, right? When I use this light, because this light carries more current, it will take the, the voltage even down than 9 volts. And it's not even turning on. And you can see how deep it is, because there is a, a little bit of current in the circuit. That's why the light was able to turn on very deep. So if I remove it from this side, touch it here, it will turn on perfectly. But if I apply resistance in the circuit, and that tells you that you need high low current to carry. So this resistor does not allow, let's say, 2.5 amps to pass through. That means there is a resistor. That means if you are using a blower line on this circuit, it will still affect it. It will not work. Do you get it? Yes. So you should now understand the difference between the resistor and current. So this can be some of the factors that can affect resistor. Do you